Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't really appreciate it. So let's go into this. So I've been playing Concord for like, I want to say at least two hours. And my impression of the game is meh. Honestly, it should have just been a free to play. I think that it would have garnered a lot more interest. Um, so far, the, I mean, it's all right. There's nothing special about this this game, but I'm the type of person that's not really that interested into um, hero shooters or these kind of games because we all know that yeah, it's very cheap. It's priced correctly, forty bucks, okay. But here's the thing: we all know that this game is going to have a battle pass that you're going to have to purchase, and there's going to be other things within the game that you're going to have to spend some real money on because we've seen this this script time and time again when it comes to these kind of hero shooters uh valorant like games like you know what is it like apex legends and games like that so i think that they should have just put this game out as a free to play um just like they did with that one game that i can't remember anymore when the ps5 launched <laughs> 40 bucks uh, i mean it's it's okay that's the character that i've been playing as um linux uh that pistol is pretty damn strong i'm, I'm not gonna be i'm not gonna hold you though that, that thing is pretty strong but so far i've only played um one mode in the game i played the um the team deathmatch i guess and you get you have to get to like 30 kills and you know that determines the win and at some point you will be every time you die you get to choose your character so you can always change your character if you're not happy with it but once somebody selects a character you that character is pretty much locked unless they decide to change to a different character then you can go ahead and change your character but most of the time people just stick to one character and you just play with them especially if you like the character that you're playing and you level them up and stuff like that and for me i, I don't know like I said, I played, you know, two hours roughly, and I have zero interest in purchasing this game for 40 bucks. Um, I do believe this game is going to be on PlayStation Plus sooner or later, um, probably sooner than expected. Maybe in like six months or so, this game will be on PlayStation Plus for free so you can get it for you for whatever, you know, console or whatever. I don't know. Maybe in like a year or two, it'll be free to play on PC as well, too. But as of now, I think this game will end up on PlayStation Plus. Um, I don't know if they're going to be doing the same bullshit like they try to pull with Helldivers or if they're going to be opening this game to pretty much all the regions out out there in the world. I think that's the smart thing to do and don't require PlayStation Plus. I think that's one of the many reasons that some of their other games that they release on PC is not doing very well. I mean, it's it's selling but you're not selling as much as you would have if you just had opened it and get rid of the stupid PlayStation Plus requirements for you to sign in in order to play the fucking game. Um, I think that was the wrong move that PlayStation did. It kind of hurt Helldivers a little bit, but Helldivers is still in like, what, 30, 40,000 range of uh, consistent con um, <laughs> concurrent players. <laughs> um, so far, so good. Um, I, I guess I had fun with it a little bit, but it's just nothing it's nothing there it's not that exciting um it's not something that i get hyped for I'm like you know like there's that certain games that you play that you get really excited for and it, it's good but concord i don't know maybe after they release some updates and maybe increase the level score to about 50 or something like that instead of 30 because 30 i felt like it's still too fucking fast um Obviously, every character has a special abilities that they can utilize. There's some um, characters that you can, you know, use them to create walls. If you play as Lennox, he has uh, two abilities. One is to heal, and then the other ability is he can throw knives. You know, that's a specialty. Um, and that's what I've been playing mainly as. I tried the other characters, but, you know, it didn't work out for me. <laughs> so I'm more of a pistol, pistol whip. <laughs> but I, I don't want to, you know... <laughs> Uh, go on too long about this video but I just wanted to say like this game should have just been a free to play game 
especially from what they're aiming for. I think this game would have done a little bit better than what it's going to do, but hey, you know what? I could be completely wrong, and it's going to break some fucking records and shit. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm fucking lying. It's not going to break any fucking <laughs> records. Honestly, when the, first, when the game was announced, I thought that this game was going to be um, a first a single player experience um but they did say that it was supposed to be a multiplayer kind of a game but you know i didn't i didn't see that but i was excited for it nevertheless because the more games that come out on playstation the more it is the better it is for us because we need more games to play and get excited about it unfortunately in this game there's nothing to be excited about just with the whole agenda and everything um, that they're trying to push with this particular game just like everything that they've been pushing in the industry I think that this game is going to be a flop but who knows maybe I could be wrong just looking at the likes to dislike ratios 935 this is from uh, GameSpot's video and 1700 <laughs> dislikes so the ratios you know it shows right there I've seen multiple different trailers of the game and it's got um, overwhelmingly negative uh, likes to dislike ratios so I think they definitely missed the mark on this game but who really knows how well it will perform but this is just my guess from seeing how the industry just goes from where they just don't want to listen to players and what players want they want to do their own thing that they think that it's the right thing to do but we've seen it time and time again like Suicide Squad complete fucking flop one of brothers lost billions of fucking dollars but you know they don't learn they're gonna keep pushing these agendas down our throats but once they start losing enough money maybe they'll change course but who really knows right anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments below as always make sure to like subscribe if you haven't done so already i really appreciate y'all and i'll see you in the next video